Hi, this is Matt. I'm going to show you how to password protect uh, about, um, Apache folders in your Fedora installation. Uh, so basically, first of all, you need to install Apache Server, which I've already got installed. I'm going to show you how to install it anyway. sudo yum install httpd um, Fedora call Apache Server httpd which stands for HTTP daemon for some reason, I do not know. Root password. It's already installed, so there you go. But if it's not, just accept and press yes and install it. So next, what you do, you go to your, navigate to your var www folder, list it, and you'll see a directory here called HTML. So go to HTML and in there uh, there's an index.html file. Um, ignore the other file, that's something else I'm doing. Um, so if I do sudo gedit index.html you'll see this is a placeholder text. For a fresh the page you'll see this is Matt's index.html placeholder. Okay, so what we're now going to do is see where we are. We're in slash file slash triple w slash html. I'm going to create a folder called private sudo make directory private and clear the screen, do a listing. There we go, there's a folder called private. Now, what I want to do now is um, copy the index.html to private. sudo copy index.html private. Now then go to private, do a listing, and there it is. So now we want to modify this to reflect the fact we're in the private folder. sudo gedit index.html basically this is the index index of the this HTML file is the index of the private folder so I'm going to mark that as private private save that we press control less to save as well close that clear the screen Okay, so now if I go to localhost or whatever your, your domain IP is from your server, slash private, it will say this is Matt's private index.html placeholder. Okay, at the moment this, this uh, page is not protected. So what we need to do is create a file called .htaccess. So, while you're still in the slash var, <coughs> excuse me, slash var, slash triple w, slash html, slash private, or whatever name you a directory you're trying to protect. Um, yeah, so basically you put the ht access file in the directory or directories you wish to protect. You create a file called .ht access. So, sudo gedit .ht access. Now, fill in these fields. First field, auth name, um, and make sure the capitalization and the lowercase are as shown here. The first letter of each word is camel case, so this is uh, auth name, and then you create, give a name of, create, make up a name that you want to appear on the box that appears asking for username and password. The, the, the prompt that asks for the username and password from the user um, is given a title which is uh, determined here. So, private area login is what I'll call mine. Auth, oh, no, auth type basic with a capital B. Auth user file. Now, what this does, it you uh, give it the path. You give basically you tell the HT access file the path of your .ht password which is spelled .htpasswd 
file, which is located somewhere non-browsable. I put mine in etc. httpd folder. So basically in that file is stored user or users usernames and encrypted passwords to authenticate you. So mine is in etc. httpd and you have to actually specify the password file dot ht password now then you also type in require valid user and that is that control s to save or click save close that clear the, oops, clear the screen Okay, so ls minus a shows everything. Cat dot access. There we go. Auth name, private area login, auth type basic, auth user file, and the path to the dot ht password file where the, uh, the the logins are stored, and uh, require valid user. So now, to make this uh, work you need to create your users and passwords. So I'm going to navigate to the folder where I want the HT password file to be stored, which is etc. HTTPD. OK. LS minus A. At the moment, there's no .ht password file there. So you run this command, sudo, or if you're already, already root, just type in HT password. So I'm doing it as sudo, sudo ht password, and the file name is ht password, oh sorry, no that's wrong, sudo ht password, tac cmd, the file name you're creating, dot ht password, and then the username, and for me it's Matt. So now it prompts me to enter a password for Matt. My password will be P A W W. Sorry, no, that's wrong. Let's try again. Let's try that again. Sorry, I got distracted there. My password is password. So basically, you're running this command here sudo HT password. Tax CMD, the name of the file you're saving it in, which is .ht password, and the username you want to create. It will uh, ask you to create the password, confirm it, press return. And then if I do cat.ht password, you'll see there's my username and the encrypted password. Now, the final step is to go to within, within this folder, which is etc. httpd. You want to go to conf do a listing and now sudo gedit httpd.conf so in this file you want to find the section which is section 2 which is quite far down section 2 main server configuration okay and find the first instance of document root and then find the second instance Sorry, no, not the second instance of document root. The second in the right. Yeah, you need to find the okay. Let's go to section two. In section two, scroll down. Where was it gone? This file is way too big. Let's find section two. Come 
on controller. Okay, search function isn't working for some bizarre reason. Anyway, let's find section two. There we go, main server configuration. Right, so we see here document root and then this first directory section. Ignore that. Directly underneath there, there'll be a, another section that says directory slash var slash www slash html. In there, we want to add private for our private directory. And here it will say allow override none. Delete none and type in auth config. Exactly as you say, you see it here. Save the file. Close the editor. Go clear the screen. And now, now what you need to do is restart Apache. So sudo service httpd restart. Now then, if I now refresh the private directory, it'll ask me, prompt me for a password. Matt, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. There we go. Don't remember the password. So that's that. That's how you do it. That's how you protect, you protect a directory in um, Apache on uh, Fedora 17. Great. Thanks very much, guys. God bless you all.